This is the Chandler Fire Health and Medical Training Center. This was constructed over the past few months and uh, the completion date was in January of 2017. With the new technology, the new science out with firefighting, we decided as a city, as a department, that we need a, a Class A burn tower. Class A is uh, ordinary combustibles. We can actually burn in almost every room in this building and simulate actual fires. Basically, this tower is three stories with a basement. The way it's designed is we have a big box on one side to simulate a big warehouse, big box types of structures. That way our crews can learn how to fight those types of fires, which have their own unique situations involved with that. On another side, we have an apartment building. And then on the other side, we have a commercial type of a building. We also have a residential side. So we can create different scenarios so that our crews are better prepared for the real world. The best thing that we can do in training is make it as real as possible. Um, with this facility, the, the greatest part of it is we can do live burns. So you're simulating real smoke, you've got real heat, um, you get down there, you put water on the fire, you get the real effects of steam and the, the added heat, you got to worry about ventilation. In the past we've had uh, fog and so we were able to go ahead and simulate that but nothing reacts like the real thing and so no matter what kind of situation training sets up for us, um, it's very applicable right into the real world situation. There's a lot of good safety features in it. Uh, we do have smoke exhaust system so that at any point we need to exhaust all the smoke out of the building, we can just hit a button, activate it, and it's going to evacuate all the smoke out of that building, that particular room. Training in these types of situations, more controlled, is good for the safety of firefighters training, but also it gives them the most realistic types of situations they could possibly face out on the streets. We just had one of our regional training sessions here at the Chandler Fire Health and Medical Training Facility and uh, it's just great to be able to get here and work with our mutual aid and automatic aid partners on different types of training scenarios that we may encounter out in, in the community. Uh, this one in particular was about uh, basement fires. Uh, none of us that are here today had actually responded on any calls like this before in our careers. So just be able to come and, and uh, experience this on a first-hand basis in a safe environment uh, is, is great training for us and makes us be able to do our job better out in the field for the community. These crews are going to learn, they're going to recognize, they're going to read the smoke, they're going to be able to react and do it in a safe manner and do it in a timely manner. It won't be the first time that they've seen this, especially for new firefighters. We try to train them and expose them to as many different situations as we can. Well, with this new uh, training tower, we can. We can expose them to this under controlled conditions so that when they're out in the streets, it's not the first time that they've seen this. So they have some type of awareness and how to react and how to be safer. And, and hopefully we're going to make a difference and save someone's house, their property, their valuables, their lives. That's the ultimate goal. We are a victim and I see you.